I feel like I get corona off a party. Um, I got corona the correct way. Motherfuckers just get corona from opening the door. I can get it from the door. Come on, man. I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to have fun. Hey, 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 hey,
So, uh, yeah, just to see that. And then the, then the following year, my sophomore year, how they, they, like, it was too much, man. It was too much going on. So you think, you know, it stopped for good reasons? Or? Yeah, I mean, I mean, people that wasn't even in college was coming to participate. So, you know what I mean? I mean, not, no, no diss to the locals. I mean, I, I had love for the locals because I, I get it. Yeah. I was, I'm, I'm in your neighborhood. I'm in, you know what I'm saying? At that time, it was still was, the projects were still around our campus. I think they all gone now. But they, at that time- Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, it took everything out. So at that time, we still had projects. You know, I was fool with the, uh, with the locals, you know what I mean? Even, I had a couple local cats, because I used to cut hair. I cut hair. That was my thing in, in, in college. I cut hair all through high school, I mean college. So I would have locals like come through to, to the dorm and get get cut up. How so, much did you charge? I was charging like seven dollars back there, fam. A full cut, yeah, right? Full cut, everything, beard, yep. trim, everything. What did you learn how to cut hair in high school? Or you just yeah, I, I, I've been cutting hair since like thirteen. I oh, damn. So yeah. you go to school for that? Or not? I did. Okay. I did. Once I graduated from Morehouse, I went to Low Vales and Gary. Okay. Uh, got my my uh, my barber my barber's license. Then opened up a barber shop a block away from here, right on Calumet. Okay. Okay. Cabinet, cabinet so, uh, yeah, let's talk about that then. Um, you know, like us, uh, you know, me and you, I don't want to say we untraditional, but, you know, creative and stuff aren't really, you know, it's a different side of it's Morehouse. Different. It is. You feel me? It is. The business major I'm and the politician. I'm glad, the, I'm glad you touched the, on You that. know what I'm saying? Because that's the thing. I'm an English major. Nine times out of ten people ask me, you going to be a teacher? And you feel me? Like, I'm doing shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To, to broaden my shit up. So, exactly. Um, you feel me? So, Touch on that for me, uh, you yeah, know, just what uh, it's like being a creative and what it still is like being it, a, a it creative tough. as an adult and a graduate. It was tough. Like, a lot of people, you know, I get a lot, yeah, you went to Morehouse? Like, oh, okay, I mean, but did you ever use your degree? I'm like, I, I had a business for eight years, a successful barbershop for eight years, so I, I, I majored in business management, so there, I, I, <laughs> there I go. And I always had a, you know, I, I just, I was the person that never really wanted to work for anybody, so I always had to figure it out. Like, I couldn't punch a clock. I was, I was terrible in interviews, so I had to figure it out. So I was always good with my hands, and I was always a people person. So I had to use my God-given talent to, to broaden or, or, or to, 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 to turn that into profit in a, in a nutshell. So coming from a, uh, Morehouse, it's, it was tough because, you know, everybody, a lot of, a lot of my peers went the traditional route, went to uh, Wall Street, worked in New York, uh, was a... Uh, Corporate, corporate brankers, uh, went to law school, you know, the traditional way. And that just wasn't never me. And I, I, I applaud cats that come from our school, like, to, you know, to kind of figure it out. I mean, it's, it's, it's a whole bunch of ways to make money. You just gotta choose one. And it, it doesn't necessarily have to be traditional. Sometimes you gotta figure it out, use, use your God-given talent and figure it out. You think you'll go back into the barber industry or? Oh, I, 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 it, it has to be like a, a perfect a perfect situation like i don't want i don't want to i had like 10 people work for, for me at the time mm. i don't want that headache anymore it was it was it was, it was a lot a lot of responsibility i'm i'm doing a lot with my my, my dj and so i'm traveling a lot so i can't really yeah, be there so. to babysit so to speak so i uh if i i would get a shop if it was like smaller make me and maybe one other person or a suite or something i would go that route so but I, I still cut hair at the house no as, as we speak all right so as far as djing um how you know what's your you know i don't want to say end goal but how far are you looking to take that you uh know, would you would you go on tour or are you family you just looking at you know I, rock, I mean, rock out these, I, I the I like, gary party I, I, I like gary parties i love the weddings i love i love i love bar mitzvahs all the good stuff i just like celebrating but uh if if the right artist was to ask me definitely i would go on tour i would oh, definitely go i would go on tour i would love to have that experience i love traveling I love meeting people. Right, that's, that's what it's about when you say, you, you know, the DJ stuff got you traveling right now. Mm -hmm. So you say you're traveling more. Absolutely. You think uh, it'll be any more cities you will on, will live in? Uh, Texas. Texas been on my mind a lot. Yeah. Texas, I got, a, I got a best friend. I live in Dallas. That's, okay, yeah. I've been thinking about Dallas well. and Houston. Right, yeah. Houston is, see, I, I tell anybody, if, you, if you're single, go to Houston. If you got a family, go to Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> that, that makes sense, my. My it's a whole lot going on in Houston, yeah, that makes Jack. Sense. My man's with the family in Dallas, man. Yeah. yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. What um you know so as far as what's going on right now uh you know black males and I don't want to say media but you know it's the whole Black Lives Matter movement. What do you feel like is the responsibility of a you know black man graduate from Morehouse? So you know right now you know we should we should take our respective leader leadership roles. Uh, we need to be organizing. We need to be talking to these youth, seeing where their heads at, because I'm sure, 
I'm sure it's a lot going on in their mind as they look at the TV and see all this chaos and, and, and commotion and disorder going on. It's, it's, it's our, I think it's our place to, to sit them down, like I said, organize through a church, I don't know, through a boys and girls club, but just reach out. Yeah. To, to to this generation below us because that's the key right now. Because right? I was, you know, that's why I noticed, you know, you was out here talking to the kids oh, yeah. and stuff. Like you said, buddy was a freshman from Hammond High. And you feel me? That's just like, you know, the small small impacts is, you know what I'm saying? That's, those are key. So I was just, you know, asking what are some other ways, um, you know, more house men can get in the community. Mm -hmm. What do you, uh, what's your, you know, I don't want to say opinion because you feel me? I feel like we all should vote, but what's your opinion on voting? I'm definitely, uh, I, got, I, got, I got a lot of, theories about voting but I, I, I I've, I've never not voted yeah so I'm all for the process right, that's why that's why I said opinion because like you said yeah so what's some of those theories uh, uh it's explicit content you feel me? I like to dig uh, deep you feel I, me? Like, I, I feel like I feel like Trump was gonna win this last election no matter what like it Most was definitely. already it was already a plan for him and I'm not, I'm not so sure if he's not gonna win again so but I'm gonna still exercise my my vote. So yeah. So what do you feel like the next four years look like for you know Black Americans? Oh, uh, if, if Trump gets in, it's it's, it's you, you all better do a lot of praying. I, that's all I gotta say. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy, Jack. Uh, I, I I don't look forward to it, but uh, hopefully uh, we'll be okay. We weather storm. We've been through worse. That's all I can I can say. We've been through. We've been through everything, yeah. and we still here. Twenty years. You know what I mean? <laughs> you right. So you know, nah, yeah, that's deep. <laughs> that just that just just called me. Um, up. Damn. So, you know, for young black men, I know I already said, you know, what do you feel like we should be doing? But what do you feel, you know, in, in your community? How can we change these narratives? Mm. Uh, um, it, it starts in the household. Like I've always said, it's tough. It's tough when when kids come from broken homes. So we gotta get you like, can't fix broken you men. Can't, yeah, yeah, you can't. So that's that's the toughest thing about about our generation, the generation before us. A lot of these kids not even been raised properly. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even really have a stable home, a, a role model to look up to. So that's why I guess I come in. You know what I'm saying? I, I wanna I wanna be the uh, fill that void in the young person. You know what I'm saying? Help them like, maybe just just take them go get some ice cream and, and, and see yeah. how they did with. You know what I'm saying? You got to talk to these youth because, I mean, I feel like, I feel like they lost right now. Put them on the turntable. You thought about, you know, maybe even doing some uh, DJ I classes? Have. Or? I have. Okay. Like, I've, uh, I had a couple teachers reach out. I've actually done, like, some career days, mm -hmm. and that, that went very well in Gary. And, uh, you know, just, just going to doing, like, a, a small tutorial, showing what I do, showing them around Serato, and just, just yeah. give them another, another uh, thought, a thought process, like, you know what I'm saying, another way. I mean, it's a hobby, but it can also, it can be lucrative. Look very lucrative. It keep you out of trouble <laughs> at the same time, so. You be on that controller all night. Come on, now. Me? How you in the crib? Oh, yeah, yeah how you in the crib. I know. Absolutely. All right, so damn. All right, yeah, that's very legit. Mm -hmm. Any uh, other things you want to touch on, you feel me, as far as, like, you know, just tips for the black youth, um, you know, fellow Morehouse grads going to be watching uh, this? Uh, just, just uh, I've always said, like, Morehouse College, me, me choosing Morehouse College was, like, the best decision I've ever made. I had an older brother that went. He's class of 93. Jamal King, what's up, bro? Uh, he went in 88. Uh, that was my first time visiting Morehouse, and I fell in love with it. And he, he told me that day, like, you going here, too. So I put all... I, and that's how it is. And that's how it was. So we started a legacy. I got three other cousins that went to Morehouse and graduated. So we kind of started a legacy within our family. But... Uh, I mean, the, the network I've, I've created through going to Morehouse is untouched. I still keep in touch with all my, all my, my good friends I, I, I matriculated with. And uh, it was just a great experience, man. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. And like to all my guys, just keep pushing, keep being great leaders, keep, keep being great dads, and, and, and keep motivating, man. What do you think the future for Morehouse look like? You know, we just got a new president. We got a new president. Thomas, I think he's doing, I, he's excellent. doing an excellent job. Last year, we just had the, the loans paid off. That, oh, My that class was, still uh, waiting for something. Oh, but gosh. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. Every year, it's just like something. So what you think, you know? I, I love the direction. Dr. Thomas is doing an, a, a, a tremendous job, man. Hats off to him. Uh, I actually got a chance to meet him at the Chicago Classic two years ago when they, they came and played. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, who they played? Miles. Miles College. I was going to say Miles is interesting. Yeah. Miles played Morehouse two years ago at the uh, Chicago Classic. And uh, just a cool guy, man. It's just very friendly, very uh, 
in touch with what's going on and uh uh I love what he did how he uh he got the 40 million well we got the yeah 42 uh, million, yeah yeah from left, million. oh come on man what uh what would you want to see added like if it was, if you if, if you had your wish or your one vision what would you like to see in more house uh more 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 programs dealing with entrepreneurship most definitely okay most definitely i would you know i would say maybe a school of media or something you feel yeah. me? we only got ctims oh you know? i didn't know that yeah so we only got ctims right now so yeah, that would be sweet if we had like a well they just got communications major this year i think you can major in it now okay so yeah you know, i think my brother grad, uh, graduated in communication he took most of his class at clark okay so yeah, yeah they just got that back order, so yeah uh, definitely a lot of like we need to just keep up with the times with technology and uh and keep striving I think Tom is doing a great job. I with do that, too. Though. Where um, what's some words you live by? A little uh, quote or something. Words I live by. Uh, what's some words I live by? What I love to say. Uh, don't cook bacon naked. That was a joke. <laughs> yeah, he, he popped up. <laughs> uh, just uh, keep God first, man. Whatever you do, He will guide your way. Look, right. man. I was I was eight minutes late to this. Cheese told me, what'd you say? Oh, man, Go to ahead. be late is unacceptable. We used to say this at, at Morehouse. To be late is to be unacceptable. Yeah, wait, 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 how'd it start? It was, uh, how'd it to go? To be on time. To be on time. It's, <laughs> say, I, I, it's been 20 years, oh, man. man. Come on, wait. To be on time. To be on time is to be late. To be late, to be late is it's unacceptable. unacceptable. And there's one more. Oh. What was the other one? It's, 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 it's something to else. Be on time. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah. But yeah, yeah. man, I, you know, I was. That's, that's, that's the break. words. I had, I had to shoot. Yeah. A, I had to give him a little. Cheat. You said so. You dig. can never really escape more house. Never. You know? And that's what I'm still learning. You feel me? Couple, never. Couple months out. You feel me? Couple. What, hey. Twenty almost. Twenty. Twenty. Years yeah. Out. yeah. Twenty man, man. years out. So. You feel so me? Still homie. there. It's my little partner, man. So yeah, man. Thank you, Cheech, for coming on the pod today. Appreciate you. Thank you. Any last thing you want? Or give me your social so they know where to find you. At Cheech Beats. Uh, on Instagram and Cheech Beats on Facebook and at Cheech Beats 219 on um, what's that? The uh, one for the kids. Twitter? Snap. Oh. The Snap. Snapchat. I think I don't even use Twitter that much but I, it's Cheech 219 I believe. Appreciate yeah. Right, so, so. Appreciate yeah. you my dog. Love bro.